I'm Mary Randall. And I'm Carla. And this is your Eagles TV. So back to what I was saying. <laughs> Carla, what building has the most stories? I don't know what. <laughs> the library. <laughs> Oh my, that's so bad. Speaking of the library, the book fair is February 4th through the 8th. Make sure y'all come shop. Report cards also go home on the 8th. Yes, Carla, what do those eagles mean in the hallway? I'm not sure, but I do know that Lily Kate had something planned and interviewed Mr. Williams to tell us about them. Let's see what she has, now to Lily Kate. Thanks y'all. We interviewed Mr. Williams about the eagles that you can earn for good behavior. Let's get into the interview. The Eagles is our positive referral system. It's set up for like when a teacher gives you a positive referral for something that you do and like either in the classroom, soaring above others, actually participating, honoring your choices. When you go above and beyond, they give you a positive office referral. You bring it to the office and your name gets put on the Eagle on the wall. Or if you do not for one solid month get a low level referral, your name gets put on the Eagle and you get put on the wall as well. Well, the stars represent like if you've got more than one office referral. So, like, once you get um, three stars, you get a free, the office calls you up, and you get a free um, ice cream out of the lunchroom. Once you get five stars, the office will call you up, and you'll get a t-shirt that says SOAR Eagles on the front of it um, for a SOAR program. And if you get nine or more stars, then at the end of the semester, you'll get a free field trip, a fun field trip that everybody gets to go on that has those. Well, that's all for me today. I'm Lily Kate, reporting for your... Eagles TV. Thanks, Lily Kate. We hope to see everyone's name on those Eagles at some point. Yes. Did you know that we had a special visitor in the school? I didn't, but I heard Mr. Moore and Liz talk about it. Let's see what they have planned. Thanks, Mary Annal. James Sand came and visited with our sixth graders January 11th. Mr. Moore asked him a few questions. Let's see what he has to say. So, what would be your best advice for anybody in the school in regards to storms? safety, anything like that in just a couple sentences. Number one, get a weather radio. Weather radio. Get it in your house. You can't hear a siren. Those don't work. Number two, know where you're going. That's a small room, a bathroom, a closet, a hallway. Near the center, no windows, lowest floor. And when you get there, what do you wear? A helmet, a bicycle helmet or a batting helmet, and you'll be fine. So what are some common things that you may see um, that people do wrong, um, things that they could do better. I know you talked a little bit about that in your presentation, um, but for all of our fans for Eagles TV, could you give us just a little, a quick rundown of that? The, the, the biggest problem is people not getting the warning. They don't get it. Sometimes we'll know 40 minutes in advance and they don't hear it. So you need a weather radio in your house and for everybody that's got a smartphone, be sure that wireless emergency alerts are on. You don't need an app for that. It's a government service. Just don't turn it off. Wireless emergency alerts. It'll say emergency notifications. Be sure that's turned on. And then know where you're going. And the other big problem we have for people that live in mobile homes, a lot of my friends do, you can't stay there. You've got to know where you're going to go. So have a safe place. Talk about it with your family and know where you're going, whether it's night, day, weekend, or weekday. And last question. Can I get a big go Eagles? Go Eagles! Go! <laughs> Thanks guys, that was awesome. Do you know when it rains money? <laughs> when there's no change in the weather. <laughs> I'm Liz reporting for your Eagles TV. And that's all for today. I'm Mary Randall. And I'm Carla. And that was your Eagles TV.